This is one of the best parts about driving this car, is you get other Subarus that park next to you. So then you don't have to worry about door dings. Not like I need to anyway. to make a decision about wheels soon but unfortunately I can't because I'm looking at three different wheels this time I am looking at still looking at the NK RPF ones the NK NTO threes and now I am looking at the Rota DP twos I think they're called DPTs or DP twos one of them difficult picking out a wheel here because I wanted to go 18s at first but now I don't want to because uh, I, I don't want to get body work done at all. I don't want to roll the fenders. I want to keep the body as original as possible which is I'm kind of contradicting myself because I've already drilled holes in the front bumper in June for a front lip and I have those freaking wing stiffeners in the back but I don't want to mess it up any more than it already is. So finding a wheel that fits is difficult. I also want to go wider. I forgot to mention that. I want to go wider, eight and a half the, like eight and a half at the most. Because nine you have to get into some serious uh, body work. Or not serious body work, but rolling the fenders and all that fun crap. And I don't want to get into that. But here's the problem with the wheels that I want. Well, the Rota DP2s anyway. Ah. I, lights need to make up their mind. People need to make up their mind. I need to make up my mind about whether I want to shift correctly or not. The Rota DP2s, back on subject. DP2s uh, only come in 17 by 8 and to 7 and 17 by 9. There is no 8 and a half. So I have to make the decision to either just scrap the DP2s or just suck it up and get the 17 by 8s. And I'm I'm probably I don't want to get 17 by 8, but if it's what I have to do to keep from doing body work and all that stuff, I I'm just going to have to suck it up and do it. Now, the NKs on the other hand, 17 by 8 and a half is not a problem because the offsets is perfect. Perfecto. So no body work would have to be done. Just slap some tires on there, throw them on the car, and you're good to go. Friday. <laughs> I'm a 
the DP2s, the offsets are, they're iffy on them, so it's kind of difficult to tell whether it's going to fit or not, even if it's the right width. Are you drunk, dude? It's like weaving back and forth. But yeah, the Rota DP2s, they're offsets. Rotas in general, their offsets are a little bit iffy at times. Tires. That's right. Tires. Right now, I think I'm just gonna go with the Michelin Pilot Super Sport since that, uh, quote unquote, is the best street tire money can buy. That is from Matt Farah. He said that himself. And you know, of course, I believe everything I see on the internet. <laughs> Not really. You shouldn't do that. That's bad. But you get the point. And there's insanely good reviews about them. The tread looks really awesome for a street tire. How are we going? sometime in mid-March, which, speaking of which, about a year ago, yeah, either a year ago, sometime this week, or sometime last week, is when I first saw this car in person. It was all salt-covered, completely white, kind of like it is now. Well, not as salt-covered as it is now. Or, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, uh, one-year vlog, stuff has been done, we put up uh, next month. Green, yes, I would like green. But going back to the tires, the compound on the Super Sports is very soft, so they wear quicker. Which I don't drive this car a lot at all. I put maybe, maybe three thousand, three and a half thousand miles on this since I got it last year. And the holy, that was a bad shift. Disgusting. Before the uh, before I get to mid March, like I have a lovely red Porsche 911 GT3 that I filmed or just did a quick walk around like I did with the Boxster from Philly, and this gorgeous, I mean absolutely gorgeous black 300 SL Gullwing. That's the Philadelphia Auto Show. It's, this thing is freaking beautiful. You 
had to see it in person to understand it, to understand how beautiful it was. But the guy that was like watching over all the cars opened the rope up for me and let me go inside and get the engine, pictures of the engine, which was pretty awesome. So, yeah, I throw putting one of those up. Maybe tomorrow, maybe you'll get two videos in one day. You guys might like that. Maybe. We'll see. But, that's, that's about all I have for today, because I'm kind of just making this on the fly here. I had my GoPro in my backpack, so I just stuck it on and started recording. So, that's all I have for you guys today. This is kind of quick, random, meh, kind of unnecessary, I guess, but whatever. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed listening to me spout words that make no sense. And, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon.